What is going on, everybody? And welcome to our first Kamigawa Neon Dynasty booster box opening. Today, we're jumping right in with one of my favorite kinds of booster boxes, set boosters. I actually really enjoy these. I know, uh, you know, there's some probably different opinions on this kind of stuff versus draft boosters, set boosters, collector's boosters. There's something for everybody at this point. Uh, but I really like the set boosters. Not only do you get a foil and an art card in every single pack, but you also get access to cards from the list, which I think is really cool. Some old cards as we go through and have some fun there. Now, one thing I need to note, this is brought to you by our amazing sponsor and local game store, Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Guys, if you are in the Rock Hill, Charlotte, North Carolina area, maybe, come down to Rock Hill, South Carolina, come hang out with the Grand Slam crew. They are amazing. They do a phenomenal job. They've got tons and tons of product for you as well. So please go hang out with them. They've got a Facebook group. It's linked down below. They also have just started a podcast. If you're interested on like a behind the scenes look at uh, how a game store is run and that kind of stuff, they do a lot of stuff there. So please go check that out again. They are an amazing group to work with and I cannot thank them enough. Let's go ahead though, guys. Let's jump right in the set booster opening all right guys here we are with that set booster and again i cannot wait to jump into this cannot thank grand slam enough truthfully uh they've been a sponsor of our channel for goodness i don't know how long at this point it's been years it's been absolutely years uh the general manager josh is just one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet uh aaron there does a lot with uh the magic world and is really really taking over there and doing a great job so i just want to say a huge thank you to them again for making these kinds of videos possible it it truthfully is because of them that we get to do all this so let's jump in guys we have got our first booster pack right here these set boosters we've got 30 of them in these boxes and again there's a foil there's a full art card there's all kinds of exciting stuff i think it starts yeah okay so we have got our full our uh, art card right here beautiful artwork in this set that's one of my favorite features of this set uh and it's just absolutely stunning now we're going to take our time through the first few packs here guys because again we haven't seen these cards yet this is a first look for us uh other than of course gameplay but we've got some amazing cards already gloom shrieker one of my favorites a card that we've recently played with actually all right our first rare ogre head helm an actual a card that we did actually play with in the hello good game deck uh the extra turns deck an absolute powerhouse there we've got bearer of memory two foils in this pack and then of course we have this little token here nothing too crazy yet but we got hope guys i'm gonna put all the mythics to the side and we'll kind of take a peek at those once we get to the end uh but ooh, look at this at sushi beautiful beautiful art card again love 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 that beautiful showcases as well we've got virus beetle spirited companion a card we've actually recently played with as well we've played with a lot of these already uh i love it um guys as you know some of the returning mechanics in this set are just fan favorites ninjutsu being one of them Ooh, two heavens as one beautiful beautiful card uh wow i love that Capitec wrecker and there we go uh, if you hear my dog barking in the background, guys, I'm very sorry. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully this mic cuts it out, but we will see. All right, let's see. Beautiful art again. No mythics so far, but we're only a few packs in. We got hope. We got hope. Two showcases in that one. Sky Shimmer Koi, Ecologist Terrarium, Moonsnare Prototype, Network Terminal, Futurist Operative. Love it. Uh, but Ninjutsu is one of those returning mechanics that everybody seems to love. The Reality Ship is our rare and a foil gloom shrieker no list cards yet but that's okay um but i uh that was actually the first deck we played so if you've been following us on our channel i've been putting up quite a lot oh my gosh that's beautiful putting up quite a lot of gameplay wow okay guys these are the new japanese versions of the lands absolutely beautiful i love the artwork here so i'm very happy to see that uh and yeah so we played that ninjutsu deck it was really fun and it did okay but i'll be honest i thought it would be a lot more dominating we'll say than it was uh and we actually had some people in the comments saying hey you know i tried this and oh our first mythic boom we have got hatsugu consumes all sorry if i mess up these names by the way oh and a foil thousand faced shadow as well we'll keep that with it and a list card twin blade paladin not a very exciting one but that is okay we'll keep those right over here uh but yeah the ninjutsu deck was not as dominating as i thought it might be um I really like the mechanic and I do think it has legs and I think it will do very well long term, but uh, I think a lot of people were expecting it. And so a lot of people have been planning for it, looking forward to playing with it, and it is good, but 
it didn't really get the job done as well as I had hoped. We got, I think, two out of three wins or something like that, which isn't bad, of course, but, uh, ooh, very nice. But I was hoping for just a little bit better. Another uh, list card, which is, which is I, excuse me. Not a super exciting one. I think one of the highest cards in the list is like Kozilek, which we actually did pull uh, in a box gosh years ago a year or two ago i'm not sure when uh but it was really cool again guys look at this just absolutely stunning art i was actually opening up a box with my wife uh who you guys have heard me talk about and uh she loves opening packs she's not a big magic player but she does play a little bit and she even said she was like my gosh this is a set i could really get into because the artwork is just absolutely beautiful and it is uh tribute very nice fade into antiquity and then another list card. We've got Honden of Infinite Rage. That's actually quite uh, thematic for this. Uh, that's really awesome. I'm very happy to see that. All right, let's push some of these cards off to the side here. Let's make sure we got enough room. All right, here we go, guys. Let's keep going. We have got plenty of packs left. So far, only one Mythic, but we did get a Foil Rare along with it, which is quite helpful. Uh, let's see what we get here. We've got the uh, Peerless Samurai, excuse me. Um, one thing I wanted to ask everybody, because I did not, I, I often don't get a chance to pre-release, and I would really like to, but just time is not, oh, Explosive Singularity Showcase Edition, absolutely amazing card, our second mythic of the box, man, that's beautiful, absolutely powerhouse card too, by the way, uh, and then Restoration is here as well, um, but yeah, I don't ever get to pre-release, I think I've gone to like one or two, and that's it. Uh, and I hate that because I would really love to go to them, but I just never have the time. Uh, recording videos on top of working full time is something that takes up quite a bit of time. Uh, and so unfortunately, I just don't have that opportunity uh, like some of you guys do. So I have to live vicariously through you all. So I need you guys to tell me how your pre-release went. What did you what did you end up building with your sealed pool? What uh, what archetypes did you go with? I think there's some very good support. Wow, beautiful. I love those Japanese lands. Ooh, and very nice. Omizawa is here. Um, but yeah, there's some really nice archetypes here. Absolutely powerful cards for uh, sealed and draft, in my opinion. And like, it's just one of those things where I I just wish I got to play a little bit more. So I have to I have to reach out to you guys and share with me your experiences here. Look at that. One of the most beautiful pieces of artwork, in my opinion, from this set. Absolutely stunning. Uh, let's see what we get. We've got Prosperous Thief, Tamiyo's Safekeeping, Wanderer's Intervention, Spell Pierce, one of the best reprints in my opinion in this set. Uh, even at common, it's very, very good. A lot of shrines in this pack, my goodness. Uh, let's see, we have got Cryptic Dreams here as our commander rare, uh, March of Reckless Joy as our regular rare, Automated Artificer, that is it. Um, but yes, guys, keep me posted on your pre-release. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, like I already mentioned, we've been putting up quite a lot of gameplay on this channel. There's really been a lot going up. We've tried to double up on a lot of it as well. If uh, if you're interested in checking out that gameplay, please feel free to. We've got tons of it, like I said, but we're also trying to get some diversity in those decks. We're trying to get a lot of stuff up for you guys so you can try some of these different deck lists. Ooh, sorry about that. Ooh, Besiju. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Beautiful, beautiful rare. Uh, and yeah, we're trying to get a lot of different stuff up for you guys. So you can check that out. Hopefully find a deck that you're interested in. Now, I uh, one thing to note, we do a lot of gameplay, like a lot of gameplay. And what that means for us is I don't always have the time to build the decks myself. And so a lot of times what we do is reach out and see what other content creators are doing, like Hello Good Game, uh, Country Fried, Mana Man, uh, Sonio, uh, just tons of other content creators. And uh, every once in a while, we'll sprinkle in some of our own decks, but sometimes we just like to test out the viability of what other people are building. It's really fun to do. Disciple, look at that, beautiful, rare. Hold the unspeakable, a nice little callback there. Um, and so we actually did have a Sonio deck up uh, just the other day, and somebody was like, oh, this is like one for one Sonio's list. And I mentioned it every time in the comments or in the description that it is, you know, a used list. Like we're, we're crediting the people who are doing it. Uh, and just so you know, that's something we do a lot of here. That's okay, though. It's okay. Beautiful foil mountain. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, man, those foil lands are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Repel the Vial. Kami. Commune with Spirits. Hotshot Mechanic. Mech Hanger. 
Befriend the Moz. Ooh, goodness. Invoke Despair, one of my favorite new mono black cards. I absolutely love that one. Uh, Country Fried actually did a video and talked about that. Dude, so sick. Such a sick one. Uh, also, guys, as we are kind of running through these packs relatively quickly here, um, one thing I wanted to mention is that we did also start a new series with Country Fried. Oh, two foil lands in a row. My goodness. Uh, a new uh, series with Country Fried, which I encourage you to check out. It's a really, really fun series. Uh, it's one that we um, were kind of working really, really hard to get this one out, and it's very fun. Invoke Justice Showcase. Beautiful. Uh, Mech Titan, Mecha Titan Core. Dude. Oh, such a cool set. Uh, but it's called It Is What It Is. And we actually had our first episode go up this past week. Uh, we've got episode two coming out on Tuesday. So please do check that that uh, that series out because we're doing a lot of fun stuff there. We're putting uh, little archetypes that we really like to play up against each other. Just having a blast doing it. It's absolutely hilariously fun. Uh, Dragon Spark Reactor. We've got Patchwork, Automaton, Enthusiastic, Mechanaut, Zuza's Mini Journeys. Ooh, Tamashi, Tamishi? I don't know. Uh, Reality Architect and a Foil States Era. Uh, not too many big hits quite yet. Quite yet. We're still a good ways, uh, or we still have a good ways to go in this, so I'm not too worried about it, but let's see what we can get here. Ooh, open, there we go. All right, let's see what we can get. Uh, we should probably start going a little faster through the, God, that's so beautiful. Selfless Samurai is a stunning card. Um, but we can kind of start to pick up through these commons and uncommons here, guys. We know most of them at this point. Uh, Befriending the mods once again. Ooh, Invoke the Winds of one of my favorite cards. I love anything that says gain control. <laughs> uh, you really get to do some silly, silly things with that, which I think is very fun. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. I think we're probably about halfway through. Not really sure. Wow, look at that. Oh. Guys, these art cards are just stunning. And a foil forest, my goodness. Uh, all right, let's go through again relatively quickly here. We're not gonna waste too much time anymore on these commons and uncommons. Ooh, Toad Rider, very, very nice. And a foil Weaver of Harmony, absolutely amazing, guys. Holy crap. Um, damn, you're getting some really good cards here. Uh, I actually did open up just a regular draft. Ooh, we got one of the, uh, the gold signed art cards. Very, very good. Uh, I did actually open up just a regular draft booster already and got a foil Jenga Taxes. One of my favorite cards. Oh, here we go, guys. The Wandering Emperor, one of the best new mono white planeswalkers I think we have seen in a while. This card is phenomenal. Absolutely love to see that. And another mythic for the pile here. We got Mobilizer Mech, and that is it. Um, my goodness, what a what a pull. That was fantastic. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we did open up a draft booster again. My wife and I were talking about that uh, as we were opening it up, how beautiful the art was. But that foil Jenga Taxis, we also got Tezzeret, uh, which was really awesome. We got two, like in a row, I pulled a foil Jenga Taxis and a Tezzeret. I was like, oh, best box in the world. Uh, Dawn Crowned is here, one of my favorite new spirits, Jeskai Spirits, and then a Sky Blessed Samurai as well. We're getting down to it, guys. We are getting down to it. I hope everybody has had some amazing pulls from their pre-release kits, from their boxes, whatever you guys have picked up. Uh, please share your best pulls. It'd be really great to hear that. I always love to hear what uh, what other people are pulling out. Wow, a showcase Dawn Crown. Look at that. Oh, absolutely stunning. And oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, a full art Wandering Emperor. One of the most beautiful cards, in my opinion, and my goodness, look at that. Absolutely love it. All right, dude, uh, we are really getting there. And uh, a Golem's Heart, very cool, from the list. Goodness gracious, guys, we have got some amazing pulls already. Let's see what we can do. Uh, again, just gonna, whoop, whoop, gonna kind of run through these commons and uncommons pretty quickly. And these art cards, we kind of know. We know at this point, right? Oh! Holy crap, guys. We have gotten some amazing stuff. Tamiyo Completed Sage, one of my all-time favorite cards from the set. You saw me build a uh, Saltai Reanimator list around Tamiyo just the other day. And holy crap, was it a really, really fun one. We also got Flutterfox. Love it. Uh, dude, we've gotten two Wandering Emperors and a Tamiyo Completed Sage just from this box alone. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I don't know what else we could pull that would make this even better really don't need anything else uh so at this point we're just kind of uh adding to the stack you know what i mean uh we are kind of not behind actually on mythics i think we're doing okay on mythics we'll see 
uh we have got uh ryu storm's edge the big boros uh legendary human samurai and then a Ry ryav master smith uh from the list guys man i'm just so stoked uh i really really love this box this is really sick all right can't gush over it too much we got to keep going we got too many more packs to go to just uh hold on to the past pulls we got too much too much all right let's see what we get oh <laughs> man the pulls keep coming guys junji the midnight sky one of my favorite of this the uh dragon spirit cycle simply for the uh recursion that is built into him absolutely fantastic my gosh a foil recorder's bargain my word this is an insane box uh Aaron from Grand Slam is the one that uh, picked out this box off the shelf for me. So Aaron, dude, uh, I can't thank you enough. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, there are some very high dollar cards in this set also. Oh, there was a rare, excuse me. Uh, we've got Roaring Blades from the, I believe the Commander set here. And then a uh, Showcase Gora Goro. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, and a Mirror Box. One of my favorite artifacts from this set. That Mirror Box is actually really good. Uh, I do have a video coming out with that mirror box card that's um, a little silly. I, I Here's the deal, guys. I've been recording since, since Thursday. I've been recording, I don't know how many gameplay videos. I think we're like at 12 gameplay videos or something like that. And this box opening uh, and potentially even more stuff coming up very soon. So we have got a lot of uh, stuff coming out. Weaver of Harmony Showcase Foil. My gosh. Um, that's two foil weaver of harmonies. That's really sick. Uh, and so I've been recording a lot, uh, which means I get a little delirious because that's basically all I've done for the last couple days. Oh, Jenga taxes. Look at that. Uh, which is fine. I love recording, um, but it definitely gets to be a lot every once in a while. And so you do kind of have to taper that a little bit. Invoke Justice, the white of the uh, invoke cards. Very cool. A foil Uncharted Haven and a mongrel pack from the list. Guys, we are getting down to the last few packs here. A couple things I want to mention. First and foremost, thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, if you would like, leave a like on the comment or on the video, not the comment. Uh, you can leave a comment as well. That would be great. Uh, if you do, that would really mean a lot. But on top of that, uh, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, ooh, Soaring City, beautiful. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, not only is it a great way to support what we do and hang out with us because Obviously, we do put out quite a number of videos, but on top of that, uh, it would also mean a lot because you actually are going to be entered to win a free draft booster box of the set on February 23rd. Wow, another mythic. Yes. Uh, and the Abandoned Mire and a Moon Snare Specialist foil. Beautiful. Um, we are going to be giving away that draft booster on February 23rd. Subscribing to the channel is only one of like four or five to six ways to enter. It depends on if you want to uh, donate or not, but there are uh, four free ways you can enter. <clears throat> All the information for that is on our homepage here on YouTube. We've got a video on it. We also have an article over on our website, itresolvesmtg.com. Highly encourage you to check that out so you can make sure you are entered in every way possible. But guys, we're down to the last two packs now. This is it. So far, I mean, I'm very happy with this box. I'll be honest. I don't think I would, uh, I could ask for anything else. This has been phenomenal. <clears throat> We've got Fable of the Mirror Breaker, another one of my favorite new cards. Invoke Calamity, another one of my new favorite cards, and a Foil Regent's Authority. All right, guys, last pack. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't, don't drop it. There we go. Last pack from this beautiful, beautiful set booster. Again, guys, please go follow Grand Slam as well. It would really mean a lot to them and me if you would go support them. They are truly just phenomenal people to hang out with and a great place to be. So please go hang out. Uh, let's see what we get. Cloud Steel Kieran. Not a super exciting card, but not bad. And then a Dockside Chef with just a token there. So let's review for just a second, everybody. So we have got uh, Yoshimaru, Ever Faithful, a beautiful little dog. Look at that. That's so cute. We have got Junji, the Midnight Sky. Again, if I butcher these names, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> One of my favorite of the Dragon Spirit Cycle. Tamiyo, Completed Sage, probably my favorite Planeswalker from the set, if I'm honest. We've got the Wandering Emperor in both the Full Art Showcase as well as the regular. My gosh, look at that. Uh, we have got the uh, Explosive Singularity in the beautiful Showcase frame. Very, very good. 
Bowser Face Shadow foil. We've gotten a couple other foil rares that I did not include here. And then last but not least, we have got Hatsu Hatsuki. Uh, he consumes all. That's what he does. He consumes all. And then the vessel of the all consuming on the back. Guys, that was a fantastic box. I couldn't have asked for anything more. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, leave a like, leave a comment, and go thank Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles for making this possible. I love you all very much. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will see you guys very soon for some more, hopefully, opening videos, or at least some gameplay videos. But I'll talk to you guys then.